Hello everyone, today we will have a battle between two most popular CPUs at the moment. The first one because of its price in the market, the second one because of its price on AliExpress. And let me mark the rules of our test, the CPU will run in a stock. I just put the best memory for them which they officially can work with. The first CPU is AMD Ryzen 7 1700, the price is right now 150 US dollars. That CPU from very first Ryzen generation has 8 cores, 16 threads and today DP only 65 watts. The frequency 3 GHz and 3.7 GHz in turbo. Boost on all cores is 3.2 GHz and the cache level 3 is 16 MB. That CPU is one of the best in a store right now. Also, you can overclock it. Some examples can run on 4 GHz, but if you have a good motherboard on chipset X370 or X470. But I will test it in a stock because our second CPU can be overclockable. And on the stock cooler, the motherboard on B350, model name AB350 Pro 4, which is a good option for its $70, also can overclock M4 CPUs. And for this CPU I placed 16 GB of memory RAM, 2 sticks on 8 gigs each, working in double channel mode, uh, DDR4 memory on 1300 MHz. But I placed 2866 MHz, cause CPU officially can't run with faster memory. And the second competitor here we have a Intel Xeon E5 3680 which you can buy on AliExpress only on $50. The CPU has 8 cores and 60 threads and this is a server type CPU. But it doesn't mean that you can't use it, it just means that the CPU has a huge price when it came and also has some server functions and instructions. The base clock is 2.6 GHz, in turbo for few cores 3.6 GHz and the best feature here is the turbo mode for all cores is 3.2 GHz and the cache level 3 is 20 MB. The CPU one of the best for its price on AliExpress, all links in description. Unfortunately you can't overclock that CPU, that CPU on LJ2011, the motherboards on that socket are expensive. But our Chinese friends created for us tons of cheap motherboards on LJ2011. I also found for that CPU stock cooler, the motherboard on chipset B75, the model name is X79 Turbo, costs on AliExpress 70 US dollars, supports memory RAM overclock. For that CPU I placed 60 gigs of DDR2 ESC rack memory RAM, which has 1866 MHz, 4 sticks 4 gigs each, in quad channel mode. All games I will run from SSD to exclude any bottleneck from that site. The GPU for that monsters is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti, which would be enough for our CPUs I believe. All videos I will record by using video capture card so there is no any impact on the final FPS. Also I did not add any game titles like CSGO and Fortnite cause it's easy task for our CPUs. I tried to find those games which can work with many cores and threads. And I know that for better FPS I should turn off threads, but I decided to keep it as it is. All useful links on AliExpress I will leave for you in description. Also there is a link on my social networks, please do not forget to subscribe. Let's start our test from benchmark R20. And we have following results. The Ryzen reached 31, 31 points. And the Xeon has 26, 89 points, which is less than i7-7700K. But this is a render test and that was predictable that Ryzen faster here. The first game on our test is GTA 5. This game is old but looks like can work with our threads. GTA 5 can't overload our CPU, so let's run the benchmark test. And the very last scene here, all settings on maximum. And Ryzen has 99 FPS in average, Xeon has 92 FPS. Both gameplays look straight and good, no any lags or freezes here, but the winner is Ryzen. It's all about humanity. The next game on our test is Far Cry New Dawn. All settings on the lowest one, also let's run the benchmark test. At the start everything looks good, FPS we have a high and the picture looks good. But before the helicopter scene we have a freezes. I'm not sure, maybe I have an old version of that game, but it's happening on all systems for some reasons. As a result we have on Ryzen 79 FPS in average and 126 maximum. On Xeon we have a 76 FPS in average and 123 FPS FPS in the maximum. And here's again the Ryzen winner.
The next game on our test is Battlefield 1, the first scene on the tank. Here we usually have a nice CPU loading, all settings on low and full HD resolution. The game also runs well, frame time on both CPUs low, no any lags confirmed. As a result, on Ryzen they have 173 FPS, on Xeon they have 165 FPS in average. Once again, the Ryzen is winner. The next game on our test is Watch Dogs 2. That game amazingly working with course. All settings on the highest one and full HD resolution. On the both screens gameplay was smooth, but the responsive time was better on Xeon for me. I don't know, maybe because of the highest frequency or because of that game optimized for Intel CPUs. We also have an expectable result here. Ryzen has 74 FPS in average, the Xeon has 82 FPS in average. And here all Intel Xeon is a winner, but why we have here those results I have no idea. And the last game on our test is Metro Exodus. I decided to run the benchmark test. All settings on the low and DirectX 11. The game also can work with threads. System is almost overload all the time. But the gameplay is also smooth and straight. No any hard freezes confirmed. At the final we have these results. For Ryzen, 21 FPS minimum, 153 maximum. And in average we have 96 FPS. And for Intel Xeon has minimum 35 FPS, maximum 100 143 and 90 in average. And Ryzen wins on a maximum and average FPS here, but Xeon has a better minimum FPS. So let's make a conclusion and I would say one thing about that. The price on CPU Ryzen is 150 US dollars. The whole platform on Xeon costs 150. And here decide yourself. Yeah, Ryzen is newer and has one CPU, also overclockable and better in tests. But is few extra FPS worth that money? The Ryzen is perfect if you want to buy new system from store. The Xeon is a good decision if you don't have a big budget and you need the best performance for a Low price. All links as always I will leave for you in description. Thanks for watching that video, waiting for your comments and see you around.